Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the core forces problem. Okay, so that is the problem that the grouping increases. Okay, so initially we are given an array A and we need to split A into two possible sub sequences. Okay, and such that every element of A is either in S or T, like it can't be in both. Okay. So like we can make, uh, we can take a whole sequence and another, another one is empty, it is also possible. And penalty is, we need to take iterate from 1 to the length of the array. And then you need to check if bi less than bi plus 1, then it will be your penalty. So you need to do <coughs> this thing in both cases, right? Both the array, both the subsequence basically. So we need to do that optimally such that we can find the minimum possible penalty. Okay. So let's see some example for understanding. So let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So like we can divide like it is a sorted array. So we can take any sequence there will be a penalty. So let's suppose we have taken 1 and 2, okay, 3, 4, and 5. So 4 is greater than 3, 1 penalty here, 1 penalty here, and 1 penalty here. So total will be 3 penalty in this case. That is very simple. So similarly for this case, <coughs> how we can divide? We can divide this as 8, okay. And what we can do 8 and then 7, 4, 3, and another will be 2, 3, 1, 1. So here it has no penalty, 0. Here it has one penalty in this case, 1. Okay. So what we need to do here? Like, how can we solve this problem? So, what is the idea of solving this problem? We need to make two arrays, <coughs> two arrays, such that the last value of each array is smaller and the coming value, we will check if we can push this value here or here. We need to check. If we are able to push in either of these, that means like we are good to go, like we have no penalty. If we are not able to push in any case, then it's the problem. Yeah, right. It's the problem. Like we need to make some penalty. That is sure. So like here, we will not make two arrays because handling two arrays will be a complicated thing. What we will do? We'll keep the last, keep the track of last values. Last value from this array, last value of this array. Okay. That's the case. Okay, so let's suppose. <clears throat> so initially what we can think of, like we need to put any element coming in behind this element, behind the element present earlier. So let's say A is very big, that is that you can take infinity. B is also tending to infinity, starting. In the starting. So we will see this case. So that is a good case. It will help you to understand. So we have 8 here. If 8 here, <coughs> first, and you also need a answer variable that is storing your answer. So initially it is 0. So first we, ne we need to make sure. And also what do we need to do? We need to make two sub arrays. Like, the, like I have shown in the example of this. So one will handle the value bigger. And another will be handling a smaller, a smaller value. Okay. So like uh, suppose 2, 3, 1, 1. That is handling smaller values. Okay. That is A let it be. And 8, 7, 4, 3. That is handling bigger value. That is B. Okay. So at the starting, what we need to do, we need to check. Like we need to make a loop from i equal to 0 obviously. 
to i less than n okay so let it be x is the value at every iteration okay so we need to see if i is greater than v we need to like swap these values why we are swapping because we want to a as smaller so we don't want to a is bigger value right so what we will do we will swap so how you can swap in python you can do like in whatever mean in programming language you can do in python simply you can do like this so that is the case so now a is smaller a is smaller so our first duty is like the coming value this x we need to check if this x is smaller than equal to a if that is the case that means we can insert this a array that means we can insert this a array right so like the first value here is 8 okay so let me use so the first value is 8 we can insert it here okay and we'll update our a with x right and another case what what if like it is possible that if this x is less than it is not less than a it might be less than b because b is bigger than a if that is the case we'll update b b is equal to x okay let's see so let's see we have then i equal to 2 the x equal to 2 the value is x that is 2 now 2 is the value and we need to see like a is 8 now and b is infinity still infinity like we have not updated yet so we don't need to swap then we have checked if is x is equal to a right we'll check that if x is equal to a yeah that's right because 2 is less than equal to 8 so we can push it here and update our a so a is here pointing here right now okay so now x is 3 so again we will check b is still infinity right so we need to see a is b yeah that is the condition it is not satisfying so what we need to do if uh, we will check 3 is less than equal to a no that's not the case 3 is less than equal to infinity yes that's the case so v will be 3 here we will push it here 3 ok right then we have x equal to 1 before coming here we need to check a is 2 this is 3 so like that is the problem that is the problem so we need to we need to update we need to delete this from here well we'll take this and make 2 here we'll update this and now we have x equal to 1 so we need to see like 1 is less than equal to 3 yes that's the case so we'll push it here okay so in this way sorry my bad <clears throat> ah okay so we need to do some hmm, yeah that's the case so we need to see like a is currently 2 so 2 is greater than b that is 3 that is not the case it's still not the case so it's fine we will not update it so we'll check if x is less than equal to 1 a that's fine so we'll update it here so now again x is 1 and a is this we'll again go so we have this uh, we need to see like again we have this thing okay so that's the case <clears throat> so now what we can have x equal to 7 so v is 3 x equal to 7 that's the case so let's say so we have we will check if x is equal to 7 is less than equal to a no 
that's if that is the case no that's not the case like seven is not less than one right so we'll come here b is three so seven is less than equal to three no that's not the case so we need to go else condition that means that is the point where we have found one value we can't put neither here nor here that's the case so we'll update our a as 7 is x and answer will be plus plus we'll update we need to update our answer okay so now x equal to 7 so what we have instead of this we have now 7 so after 1 we have 7 value right so this is the current scenario now we have x equal to 4 so 7 is greater than 3 7 is greater than 3 that is the right condition we need to swap it so now we need to delete here it becomes 3 and it becomes 7 okay so now we have done that so we need to check 4 is less than equal to 3 no it's not possible 4 is less than equal to 7 yes it's possible we can push it here fine now we have x equal to 3 and b is 4 a is 3 that is not the case we will not need to update so 3 so 3 is less than equal to yes that's the case so the sequence is this one first and this is second one and we need to we can see like the first we have three starting so three and seven that is the only case we need to make penalty i hope you got it that is the only case we need to make penalty so here that is the answer three and seven we need to we can divide in this array this array subsequence and this subsequence and this is the point of penalty so you will get your answer right with this solution. Hope you understand this solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you and keep coding.